The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Friday. Uh, this is Friday, October the 8th, and we're looking at the Dow up 48 points at 34,802. Holding in that higher range above the 50 period exponential moving average, uh, trying to go again. Let me just draw this in a little bit clearer. Trying to go into this Chapman wave inside track repellent zone one more time. It keeps touching the pink line and then reversals. I, reverses. I've been talking about this as an arch formation that should make a second arch formation in the pattern that I call the lowercase m. It makes a lowercase h and then it repeats with a successful test above the previous most important high, low of 33,613 around about September the 19th. And the last low was 33,785. So far, it's making a higher low and lower highs. If at any point next week it suddenly starts trading the 35,100 area, that's a breakout to the upside. And that extends that. And really what it says, and this is what I was talking about yesterday, when you think of consolidations, um, if you think of percentage and time, I like to think of, of, of the vertical and the horizontal. If you're thinking of time as moving sideways, We've gone on the Dow from August the 16th, the high of 35,631. We've taken to today. Uh, it is almost, look, whole of, it says August, then you go September, and now you're going to October. We are just about in. By next week, we will have been two months in a consolidation pattern, and we've really only broken 2,000 points to the downside. We're in the middle of that at 34,817. It's one of the reasons why for subscribers to an opening call, we've been holding the uh, the diamonds, the position that we still have, taking a little bit off for profit from, uh, we start off with options the day of the low of August the 23rd of last year. Uh, a week or two later, we went into the Dow Diamonds and we've been in those diamonds. That's the long side, one to one, the long side. Since then, but in interim, we've had short side. We've had the DOG uh, to one to one short. We've had the lo long the diamonds uh, as rallies. Uh, we just missed the other day holding our third position just in one week um, uh, on the long side. It just got stopped out and then it soared from the 340 level to where we are right now. 348, in fact, it went even higher. It went to um, three three uh, forty nines. Now what we're looking at is it's holding very nicely. And because of it, and one of the reasons why for subscribers, we've been adding long positions. We built up a nice cash position. Now we're slowly starting to put back. I'm not putting everything back. There's a, there are going to be a lot of whipsaws going on. We're looking at a sideways consolidation taking time, not price yet. So that's the Dow. The weekly chart, I should wait until today at 4 o'clock to discuss it. But in fact, it is in a sell signal. Technically, I could call it a sell mode, but the nine hasn't broken under the 14 period yet, so I'm holding off on that. But, and the monthly chart has made a PD and it's still holding really well. In fact, it's just a one, one or two percent of its all time high. Let's go to the SP. I'm going to take a little time today. Uh, I just want to kind of give the, the good a, a, a sense of where we are. And for su subscribers to my opening call, usually I try to do a Saturday morning. Uh, overview uh, uh, a video I can't do it tomorrow and I will try to do it I'll probably do it on Sunday I'm not sure when but I'll do it on Sunday and um, and I'm building up the resources to be able to say these are stocks that we I really like and over a period of weeks we want to start at least I want to give you some sense of what I want you to get into for the longer term, I want the outlook for the rest of the year. I want to give a sense of what I'm looking at. And since we are still only in leg B, maybe a peak B in October, if we don't go above the S&P higher 45, 45, 85 made on September the 2nd, maybe we make a peak B and by November, we're starting to rally again to start a leg C to the upside. I, I, I'm not sure yet. All I'm saying is that I'm looking at this because in the travel methodology, 
spy modes tend to go at least to a leg D than a peak D, and they can even go higher to E, F, and G. So minimum in a buy mode should go to a leg D, and we're only at a, a leg B right now, haven't even confirmed the peak B. So that's very bullish looking out. In the interim, we can have a lot of choppiness. So the key support on the shorter term is 43.50, but certainly at any point next week, for whatever reason, I don't know, I don't know what's left on the table, but there's a lot going on. 42.78 was the low. A close underneath 42.68 says, uh-oh, we're in a, in a sell mode in the weekly chart, and this is more serious, but we haven't got there yet. Let's go to the QQQ. I'm taking a little time now, going through each one carefully. QQQ. <sighs> It's red, minus 37 right now at 362.62. We took our, um, our profits from the, short, from the short side. I'm looking to get back into this maybe next week because I think the NDX 100 still has a lot of choppiness and a lot of consolidation to do. And at the same time, um, uh, yes, uh, question the Dan while I'm thinking about it. Uh, hi, Basil. Could you look at the trend? I got 2.44 read yesterday and today. So I got, listen to this, yesterday, the day before on Wednesday, in my Chapman Wave trend gauge, and all it is is Richard Arms trend, trend gauge. Uh, actually, they call it the Richard Arms Short-Term Trading Index. I call it my trend gauge because I only use the numbers. It's, it's made up of highs and lows subtracted from uh, uh, up and down. Uh, so it, it, it has its own methodology. I couldn't care less. Yesterday, it had a low. Uh, two days ago, that was Wednesday, it had a high of 213, which was exactly the same high as a week before, 213. And um, we did get the rally in the market. And yet, the day before yesterday, we got a short-term trading index reading of, uh, that was, whoops, of 0.36, and today's reading is 0.39. Uh, both of them are very low, and that suggests that the, the Dow should have a weak open, go to negative, and then have a rally. It's exactly what we got today. You can see it's missed a couple of times. In fact, that's the only out of the, the high reading and the low reading. The low reading has had more misses this year than ever. Normally, it has like a 98% success rate this year because of the incredible force of up moves to, the, to, to, to spike and stay higher. We've had a, quite, a, quite a couple of misses, very, very few um, on the upside. And what happens on the upside, if it's above a certain level, I, I always say that there should be within two days, there should be an E-mini, S&P E-mini, 9 to 11 point rally that will help the market, even if it's down sharply. Don't be surprised if there's a sudden big rally. And that, it's a real good clue to that. And uh, as I say, it's missed on the, it's often, often happened on options expiration Friday, um, where the following Monday, because of news over the weekend, there's been a big spike to the upside and it hasn't come down to negative. And that's a few times. So what we're looking at here is, um, there is a peak C in the 120 minute chart. Yes, thank you for mentioning that. And it should go to a D above the uh, 34,975 level. It uh, doesn't have to, but my, the, the technicals are still good. I'm not, I don't think we'll do that today, but it could do that very soon. I'll be back in a moment, Basil Chapman. We want to look at gold. There's a lot to look at. I'll be back and we'll talk about it. Basil. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. So we're back. So gold uh, had a really nice move earlier on. We still the jobs numbers. Now this is all the way to 17.4, and now it is trading up just uh, 5.80 at 17.64.7. But I tell you what is interesting about this is that the GDX, which is red right now at 30.75, still a gap up from yesterday is starting to see a little bit of technical veracity that says, yes, it is not in play for the big move, but on a shorter term basis, it's trying to build some kind of a base. And we'll know by, I, I, I'm, I'd say later today, I don't think it's that. I think it's Sunday night into Monday, in my show on Monday. At this time on Monday, I think we'll have a really good sense because we'll be looking at something like an ASA work. It's holding much better. It's up 31 and 19.99. We'll be looking at what else? What, what do we want to look at? We want to look at uh, yesterday what was working. Remember NG? I said people think it's a natural gas. This was finally pulling back uh, down three cents at 7.39. Uh, it's had a spectacular move. But let's go to RGLD, uh, Royal Gold. And you'll see, just trying to get off the bottom, nothing really big. But I, I like the fact that, and if you go to Bitcoin, Bitcoin is having a very big session today. It's up 375 at a new recovery high, not all-time high, recovery high, and it's holding. So I suspect Bitcoin has got a little bit more to play, but gold is trying to find a base to say, hey, at some point very soon, I want to be in the game of, 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 of having bigger rallies than just bouncing up and down and up and down. So I, I think that, the, look at silver, you'll see what I mean. Silver is trading up and this holding steady it's up to 24 cents at 22.90 nothing big but if you look there's an inverted head and shoulders the macd is improving the stochastic is at 61 percent not 35 percent but 61 percent the on balance volume is okay but it is improving and you're very close another two days like this and silver could finally this is the continuous silver contract could have a crossover and says, you know what, I could try to fill in that ugly candle of the 16th of September, the high of round number 24, below 22.58. And here it is at 22.90. So I'm just saying that we were looking at it yesterday and I said gold is becoming more interesting. Finally, gold, the GDX is participating before it wasn't. 
it's just a good sign. I don't know when the big move in gold will be because it has to do with the XLF. It has to do with a lot of things. XLF is uh, up 18 cents at 39.01. It broke to a new recovery high yesterday, peak A, peak B. I really have to call this. Could be an E, but I'm calling it a B for now. Here we go, peak A, peak B. I don't like to use alternate counts. Uh, if it's going to, going to confuse, but if it just says uh, it's clear, I know my parameters, that's one thing. But right now, I, I, I mean, the MACDs, good stochastic is at 85% on balance, volumes rally, nine is above the 14. So I'm going to call this a buy mode that should squeak to a C and then maybe even a D. Um, and the weekly chart broke out. So this is the S&P Financial Spider Fund. When and if it starts to really tank and go below the 37.20, let's call it 36.90 level. I think that's where you could maybe see the the general, uh, the global, the geopolitical side say, uh oh, uh, financials are in trouble. Let's go into gold. They haven't quite done that yet. They're using the uh, Bitcoin as kind of a, a, a proxy for the, the kind of trading we had seen for decades and decades in the gold. Now, now for at least when I say now, I mean the last three years or so, four years, we're looking at a Bitcoin taking over that volatility trade that some people love. Uh, and, and, you know, that's the way it is. Okay, I need to just quickly show you the IYT, which is the, uh, the, the why am I not getting that? Okay, there it is. Uh, the IYT, which is the iShares Dow Jones Transportation Average Index Fund. God, they got to change that name. Holding quite nicely. It also is trying to show that the economy is not quite as bad. The big negativity we see is, is being alleviated a little bit by price movement to the upside. And as long as the transports are acting well, um, even with containers being held up, etc., that's a good sign. Yes, we've got that peak D in the Chapman Wave methodology, uh, peak D in the Jets, the U.S. Global Jets ETF, and you can see um, peak A, leg B in the weekly chart with the U-shaped pattern, uh, holding quite nicely. So I think there's there is a general improvement in the market, and we've just seen so many stocks really get clobbered, um, so not just like the market 4% to 8%, but individually 25, 30% even in some of the real leaders before. Okay, I want to go to the TLT quickly. The TLT is trading at um, 142.05. We've been looking at this and saying um, the peaks that were made recently, uh, and that would be, what is that? That's a C. No, that's a B. No, that's the B. Yeah, this is in leg, leg uh, C to the downside, and in the daily chart, it's broken the rectangle. Um, this is the rectangle sideways move between 152 and 145. It's now at 142, and that says in the dreaded H pattern, the Chapman Wave methodology, you can get, now you can get the one-to-one. -one, okay, there it is. The one-to-one -to, -one to the downside, and what does that mean? It says from this high, right here to that low, you could get, oh, I don't even want to do this because it's not a good sign. You could get, um, there it is, a one to one to the downside, and it says, wow, 130, 138, 139 to 138 is a possibility. And if that's the case, you're going to see this TNX dot X really move to the upside. Look, it's already broken out in the weekly chart. This, when, when, when the politicians talk about, they say, oh, it's just transitory, the, the inflation aspect. I don't know where they are, I don't know how, where they're living, but this is a sign that rates are going up. It's a sign that it's impacting the uh, Philadelphia housing index, which is way in the H pattern. On the left side, it's taken out the left side low last week. This week, it's getting a little bit back in. But this is just suggesting th there is inflation. Absolutely everywhere. Um, the other thing, I did not do crude. Uh, sorry, here comes crude. Crude oil. Uh, crude oil has gone to an alternative account, G stash C. Now, normally I would just go with this and I say that was a peak D pullback and then a new start for an up move, and that's E slash A is probably A, F slash B is probably B, G slash C is probably C. The only reason why I've got I keep the alternate count here is because. In this methodology, in the Chapman methodology, when the MACD at a peak D just barely acknowledges that there was a pullback, 
and continues higher and the on-balance volume becomes extremely overbought, that's where you've got to be careful because that's where you can get your reversal at a peak G, the seventh highest peak. But in this case, I'm keeping it as a G-C. My suspicion is we had the two-day the two day pullback, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, and today we had a new recovery high. I have to tell you, crude oil, I, I, I'll put it together. Someone asked me about XLE at the same time. I'll do the XLE. Look at this. Also just squeaked to a new recovery high. Is this an F or is this a brand new? I'm just calling it an F for now. There's no actual sell signal, sell sign. And the breakout in the weekly chart suggests this, this could be uh, headed towards a test of the high that was made in the energy, S&P Select Energy uh, ETF of 56.65. Uh, and that was made back in, in June, and we plummeted down to the 46 level, and here we are, 10 points higher in a cup formation. That's really a strong move. I'll be back in a moment. Bells, Jeff, Bells on five SPs up for. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So, uh, uh, Ethereum is trading nicely here. It hasn't gone to the, the high of the 3rd of uh, September of 3869. It's a 34.61 ETHE is the symbol, 3461 up 26 cents. So it's in this high level consolidation, but if you look at the pattern of the weekly chart, it's made one U shape pattern. If it's going to have the second U shape pattern, and this is a weekly chart, without taking out 29.20 on a closing basis, it needs quickly, and that's a weekly chart, so I mean quickly meaning two weeks, within two weeks or so, I'd say by the very first week of November, it has to be above 41. 
um, to be able to say, not only am I going into another leg C, gray leg C in the weekly, but if I surpass uh, 4323 at any stage, uh, that'll start leg D. And that's what you would want because that would be E in the weekly, in the monthly chart, and that incredible early move in the first uh, in June of 2019 when it opens at 33, 33 goes to $8.69 and then screams up to uh, 67, 67.78. Now it was the other round, it opened and then it screamed up to the 67 and then plummeted down and then it went even lower. It went down to. Um, 466 and 411 on, in October uh, two years ago, to, uh, 2019. So this is a nice steady move. Look, uh, higher highs and higher lows. But you see these wicks. This looks like a biotech stock. I don't like that. I was asked about a particular stock uh, in the den just a moment ago. Uh, a V E O A V E O. Keep your eye on the on the monthly chart right here. This is Ethereum. Now look at E V. Look at that. You see. When I say like a biotech stock, we used to see this years ago. That, that I don't think they're allowed to do anymore. But we used to see every month a big spike. And it was because there was a news release. And the news release was because, I'm just guessing. The news release was because they needed to pay their, their workers. And they paid them in options. And they could sell the options on the big spike, get out, and then see it plummet down. That's why you got in monthly charts or weekly charts, Huge single shadows, these legs to the upside with the clothes down at the bottom with the candle itself. And that's what we're seeing. So I, my only concern when I was looking at AVEO -E is that to, for the daily MACD to cross positive is a 643. It needs to get to the 6, really needs to get to the 668, 670s. And fairly soon, and it hasn't yet done that. But overall, I can see higher highs and higher lows is a possibility. So I'm talking about that in XLE. Um, we. Yeah. Wasn't XLE. XLE is holding very nicely at 56.41. What on earth was I looking at just a moment ago? I was looking at uh, ATHE. Oh, yes, ATHE. Yes, those big spikes. But you see, this one tends to fill it over a period of time, and the other one wasn't. So the, that's the difference in chart patterns. We're talking chart patterns. Now, let's go back to the XLE. This is a very good sign, very strong. MACD is good. Stochastic is flat at 86%, 88% on balance volumes a tad overbought. I think uh, crude oil and energy itself is in play. I think it's in play for 2020 and 2021. And you you, you just got to be real careful. Uh, if you, I wouldn't be shorting in this area at all. Uh, Federal Reserve hates gold. It was their only real uh, competition until Bitcoin. Okay, that's a, a political statement in a way. Yeah. I kind of yeah I understand that. Um, and, uh, New Newmont Mining, a question again. Newmont Mining, uh, look at this. A nice red candle earlier in the day looked great, and now it's giving it back. So I'm just thinking that there's a chance that we get a little stabilization here, and then just very slowly over, over a period of maybe seven to nine sessions. You just see another move to the upside, build, trying to build a base. And that's really the most important thing about the, the GDX gold. Um, and just see where gold is right now. Now it's only up two. It's given back a huge chunk of the game. So tiptoe, if you're interested in gold, I'm advocating just tiptoe in, see what happens, and don't treat it as the play until it starts to show you signs of holding gains. That's the most important thing. Uh, we've experimented today. We're experimenting in, with a position. Uh, I, I, very, very tight stop. I don't care if it gets stopped out. I don't care if it works. I care if on Monday or Tuesday we are still holding the position and it's starting to stabilize. That to me would be important. That's the only way you can do it. You te you have to have a test case. Uh, Fang, I had a question about Fang, which is the uh, diamond uh, back energy. Look at that. It's like all the others. It just keeps going and going. Wow, talk about the energizer buzzer, bu buzzer, energizer bunny. A leg D in the monthly chart. I don't know if this is a leg B in the weekly. I, everything about it says I should keep it as a B. I can have an alternate account. Because, no, it took out the left side. Oh, it took out that low, did it? No, that was an overlapping wave. So this is really the starting point. Yeah, this is still in play. 
just for now, I'm going to call it. You don't have to worry about the B until you worry about the, the daily. And the daily says strength at this point, And it means that this particular strength has turned in 109.69 FANG, 109.69, up $4.57, up 4.35 one day. It's just up. Uh, it's unbelievable. I'm calling it E for now in the daily chart. NACD is very good on balance volume, extremely overbought. Stochastic's flat at 91%. This is great. It's just looking at, I know person asked me, has been in this for absolute ages. Uh, shake my head. Oh, you sold half. No, don't. don't no, I, I think, look, how were you to know? You're doing money management, uh, S&P. So, so maybe half was a little too much, but taking profits in a stock that's moved up so sharply on a big percentage move, there's nothing wrong with that. What I would do is split the half that you took off into two sections and say, if this pulls back, it's at 109. If it pulls back in the next two, three weeks, uh, between 90, uh, 98 and 95, I will put some part of that back. And that means you've, you've got um, a good 10 points that you've just gained by putting back some of it at that level. And even if that becomes a top of more intermediate term, uh, it doesn't matter. You can deal with it. But let's just deal with it when it gets there. You've done fabulously and it still looks good. And you've kept a half. That's fantastic. Um, let's say questions have come in. Okay, Baidu. So I said yesterday I can see a bounce coming. Yep, there's another bounce today. It was one of the better ones. We were looking at Baba, uh, Alibaba. Also a bounce, but I think the chart formation of Baidu is a lot better because it never even got close to the left side low. FXI, FXI is the, uh, this is the, now why, oh, is that going to become a problem? I'm going to have to do something about it. Uh, yes, okay. The FXI is up 32 cents, also had another, it had a, a gap up yesterday, and now it's followed through to the upside. So I'm going to draw this in. I don't know if this is going to be accurate, but I am going to draw it in to say, this is the pattern I'd be looking for. An arch formation, a little mini arch, and then a larger arch, and then it comes back, and it might be a successful test by November um, of the 37 support. But if it goes from 39.90, the FXI, this is the iShares China Large Cap ETF, and it spirals into the 41.30 area, 41.80, that says, you know what? That's really much better action. And the digestive phase that it's had could be saying, I might be consolidating, but now I've got the upward bias to establish which stocks are really good. And when we come back down, those are the ones we want to uh, look at as potential buyers. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. And we're looking at the job pretty curious. It's up for a while. That's the Jeff Tiger's Traditions Hour. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi folks, we'll be back. I just want you to check on, I said I would check on it over the coming two days and we'll look at it again on Monday. Is SDC, this is the Smile Direct Club Inc. Uh, it's trading up 22 cents at 682. And look at the, the range it had today, 709 and 641 on a percentage basis. That's a, that's, that's a big move. But look at the weekly chart. Time alone is going to take it out of that downtrend line. Uh, so I, I say just maybe just saw a little nibble on that. I still feel that way. And maybe by Monday, we'll have a, a good sense of how it holds, just purely on a technical basis. Remember, I said on a fundamental basis, I, there are all rumors, all sorts of things that are going on. You never know with these things. So we look at it purely on a technical basis. And I'm pleased that today it's holding well. That was really important. After that candle, Chapman Wave Roman candle that we had yesterday, if there was a move that held under 646 for about an hour and a half, I would say be careful to take out that left side low. This is so far good action. Uh, okay, a couple of a bunch of questions came in. I uh, could a uh, DBA. Uh, what was it? A uh, DBA. Uh, I know you own DBA. Um, it's got the grains in. It. What's it got? Okay, DBA is the uh, DB Agricultural Fund. We're along from the 13s way back in July of last year. So it's over a year. Uh, we're taking just a little bit off at 14.93. Red is at 19.45. It's holding really nicely. And I must say, I never know how it's going to hold and what's going to hold it because it rotates through. I don't know what the percentages are. I don't even want to look. I just like to look at the chart. But look at this wheat dust. Wheat uh, it's pulling back, but still holding in the upper range at 7.40. It's down just three quarters today. Uh, it needs to get to the 768 or higher level, and then I'll say that is very good action, but it's holding well. Uh, soybean is trading up nicely. Well, that's helping today. Up 10 and three quarters at 12.58. I want to see this try to get to 12.82, the 200 period exponential moving average again, which was the, the magnet. It went up and down and up and down like a little yo-yo until it pulled away, and now I want to see it get back there. It's going to be tough to do. That soybeans continuous contract. Corn, as we say in the Boston area, corn is up just a dollar quarter at 5.35. Made a peak C1. This could be a C1, C2, but actually I think it's holding very well. The 90 is still very strong. There's a MACD. So I think it has a chance by next week if it can go above 5.44. That's about nine points higher than where it is right now. That'll be the sign to say it's going to make that leg D. And if you look at uh, sugar, I mean, what else is there? But sugar is just in a sideways move, not doing very much. Uh, someone said, could you look at CC, which is uh, this is continuous contract of cocoa. It's had a really strong move. Look at the weekly chart. Peak A, peak B, leg C is going in the monthly chart towards the upper band in the two, uh, 20, 2800 area. It's a 2741. It must hold 2681 as key support. Uh, KC, which is uh, KC, is the coffee, had a peak, one, peak C, and then it pulls back and goes peak A, peak B. Oh, there's a leg D. And it's made a peak D, holding very nicely. Now it's in a range, and I think the range is at 200 right now. I believe the range will be between 215 and 180 
over the next two, three weeks. And if it could break either one of those, that's the direction it could continue in. So that's that. Um, High-grade copper. High-grade copper had a very nice session yesterday and another one today. Oh, the question came in. Um, could I look at TGB? To sake of mines, periodically we own this one. We don't have it right now. TGB. Uh, so um, high-grade copper is in the upper range of this a level going towards 430 and it's trading at 427 um, and really strong 415 support yeah so this is leg d and tgb and i would just suggest you you have this as a long-term position uh, the questioner i uh, want to know about it just leg d the last one pulled back from 201 very sharply under the 200 period moving average for two days and then rallied up and then went back again and rallied back up so that whole 166 area is support, and it's a 2.00 2, 2 right now. TGB trading unchanged at $2. I like this, but if it does pull back, I think the 192 to 185 area should be very good support. If it takes that out over the next two weeks and starts to pull back under 175, high-grade copper is going to be telling in the same story internationally as many of the other areas that have been consolidating. But this is still way below the 267 high of uh, 15th of the week of the 15th of May. And uh, it's in the lower range consolidating, but not breaking down, holding very nicely. Hope that helps you there. A question came in. A question, question, question. Where did, I, where did it go? Where did, oh, NEU. NEU um, is... New Market Corporation, I love the stock on a short-term basis. Um, the reason I got to it is because I thought it was NUE, which is uh, New Core. And New Core, with all the steals, is just being hammered. It's just it's getting no play. Why? Because they're not really talking about infrastructure anymore, unless you've got the big bull, and the big bull is going to have just, I don't even know what will be in infrastructure. So that's why it's in a holding pattern, uh, NUE. But NEU, keep in mind, um, it is, look at this, from the low that was made back on the 19th, around about the 19th of September, it's gone peak A, peak B, and in leg C, above the 200 period moving average. And that means it could store here a little bit, but that weekly chart is starting to improve a lot. So this is, I don't know what they do, New Market Corporation. I suspect they have something to do with New Market Corporation. I don't know what they do. But I, I think this is something to keep in mind as a trade, but I probably would say to you, um, uh, the question is just, what about it? I, I don't know whether you're long, short, anything. If you're long, just hold it. Let's look at it again maybe Tuesday of next week to see if it's held. It's at 354. 10 points below the 344, that's going to be key because if it breaks under that, it is not just the shorter term, but on the weekly basis, it could pull back a little bit further. Right now, it's holding so well. I'm just going to say, hold it. Oh, uh, Add? No, add to it. I wouldn't, add, even though it's legs, see, I wouldn't add to it right now. Um, well, let me put it this way. I don't know what your position is. I don't know what your, your whole thinking is. If it's a very short-term position because this is leg C, right here at 354, I, I would add. This is a different question. Um, I would add because it should pull back and then make a leg D. That's if it's in a, a Chapman Wave buy mode when everything about it says it is in a buy mode. Stochastic said 90% looking terrific. The weekly chart is something different, but on a daily basis, yes, I would add, I'd probably have a 15.5% stop initially. Um, I'd like the C to continue into, into Monday. Then you've raised the base and then when it comes back for D, this C could go on for two days or who knows? Look at this leg A went on for seven seven sessions. So I'm just saying to you that 200 p moving average of 351. Keep in mind that is an important magnet, and very often until the price clears that hurdle and pushes away from it, in this case 359 or higher, and any pullback doesn't even break to the 353 level, and then it goes even higher. That means it's using it as a propellant rather than a magnet. So I hope that helps you. But in the longer term position at this point. Don't touch. It's looking very good. A uh, question came in. Oh, could you do the TLT? Uh, I thought I did that. Yeah, TLT broke to a lower low. Um, you know what? As we come back from the break, I'm going to get up my the chart that has that I show subscribers over the weekend. I'll do this now. 
because it's so important. So the Dow right now is up 30, S&P is up two and a half. We're just stuck in a range at this particular point, but the day is young. You never know. Oh, and we'll also look at some of the apples and stuff. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Last segment to go. So there's a lot to cover. In the Chapman Wave methodology, we look for the lowest low. We count each successively higher peak. You can go to seven peaks higher to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, sequential, alphabetically. It's at that fourth highest peak, peak D, that other things can happen. How important is a D? Come on, give me a break. How important? Look at this. One minute chart of the E-mini back at about uh, six, uh, what was that, uh, yesterday at 1600. It goes to peak A, B, C, goes to a D right there, 2100. That is last night at about what, nine o'clock. Then it pulls back, pulls back. And then it goes as a 10-minute E-mini to peak A, B, C, D. Boom. What does it do? It pulls back very sharply at 310 this morning. Boom. It goes where? To the 200-period moving average. Did you need that before? No. Only when you need it, you need it. Look how many times it's been hit, and now it's using it as a propellant at a peak D again right there at 840 this morning. Look at that sharp pullback. Now you've been in a rectangle formation. You can trade within the rectangle formation. Uh, if after after 1.32 o'clock this afternoon, trading above uh, 4,400, 4, 4, that says, hey, maybe you can even go a little bit higher. If you start to pull back that 43.86, 200 period moving average area has to be support. Now, I got that out the way. Let's go to this here. This is my uh, my three time frames, my three 
uh, triple weekly chart pattern, the weekly chart, the yields. Look at this strong leg gray B uh, in the in the 30 year, the 10 year, and the five year. This is already a C in the in the five year. Look what it's done to the wood, the I shares. H pattern is holding the 50 period moving average support. Better hold there. And look at this. Uh, the uh, left side low on the HDX is being tested right now. Very important moments. Now, just be, as we're going to wrap up, you're going to go, of course, to Larry Pesavento. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Uh, I won't be able to do the update right now. We'll just repeat through update from 10 a.m., but we're almost the same area. So with that said, watch the Dow. If the Dow is holding uh, a plus 90 or more after 2 o'clock, that could be a good close. But my suspicion is we're going to be stuck in the range for now. But you can end these. Have a wonderful weekend and check out my opening for my daily newsletter.